Hello, crafty friends, and welcome. My name is Melissa Miller. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Southern California, and today I thought we would look at our May 2021 paper pumpkin kit called Batter Up. So we've got our box here. Let's go ahead and open it and get started. First, we've got our flyer for June's kit, for next month's kit. And I'm really excited about next month's kit because it's got the, um, they're giving us a little hint here. And it looks like they'll be using the alcohol watercolor ink technique. And we've got some pinks and some purples in there and that kit is gonna be really neat. If you are interested in subscribing to June's kit, you can do that until June 10th. And then the kits usually ship anywhere between the 11th and the 15th, so it doesn't take very long to get your kit. So that's June's kit. But right now we're gonna be looking at May of this year, May of 2021. And we've got three pieces of bubble gum, which is a nice surprise. They don't usually put a treat in there like that for us. So we've got three pieces of bubble gum. Our ink color is Night of Navy. So that's our stamp and sp spot this month. We've got our glue dots, we've got our sentiment strips, we've got some embellishments here. We've got red and yellow embellishments. We've got our dimensionals. And then we've got our stamp set, which is really nice. It looks like they gave us a bigger one this month. And it's got uh, quite a few sentiments on there that we can reuse after the kit is done. We've got dad, son, uncle, grandpa, brother, mom, friend, you're the greatest of all time, you're the best, all star. Then we've got a baseball bat and a cap, which is really cool. We can make a lot of cards after this kit is done with that stamp set. And then for our instructions, they've really changed up the instructions quite a bit here too. But it looks like we can make nine cards, three of each style. And then on our instructions, they've changed them to be full color, which is really nice. And they've, they're really explaining everything on here. They're telling you where to put your glue dots, where to put your dimensionals, what to ink, and that's really, really nice, full color. So let's go ahead and take all this out here and get rid of the box. It looks like we've got our elements here. We've got sheets of our elements, three sheets. Actually, I already used one sheet, so we've got, but we get three sheets of our elements. We get our base cards. We've got our wood grain base, and then we've got our stripes, and then we've got our red sun rays, which is pretty cool. I like that. And then we've got our envelopes, and they are lined. They've got the Knight of Navy color stripes on there. Put those aside and let's go ahead and take one of our element sheets here and punch everything out that we'll be using this is our home plate we've got the phrase all star we've got our baseball bat and then this reminds me of a baseball card like a vintage baseball card you're in a league of your own we've got our red stripe here. We've got our red and yellow layering piece. And then we've got our baseball bats, two baseball bats. And just a reminder, Paper Pumpkin is $22 a month, which includes shipping. You can do a month to month subscription. You can do a three month subscription, a six month or a full year. That's up to you. So let's go ahead and just push these aside right here. We're gonna start with our, let's do the Sunray card first. We're gonna take our Sunray base, fold that, and just give it a nice little crease here so we can work on that. Okay, and then we need our vintage baseball card. Let's put that on some dimensionals. And I think we're probably gonna use like five or six, just because I don't want the middle to sag at all. Put those on our baseball card here. We've got, yeah, we're gonna use six because I don't 
I want the middle to stand up nice. Take our release paper off of there. Kind of put that at a little bit of an angle at the bottom of our card. We are going to add a sentiment. Which sentiment do we want to put on there? Let's go ahead and use, I've already got one on my block here. Let's use brother. I'm going to bring in my large Knight of Navy ink pad just to make it a little easier for me. But you do get the Stampin' Spot Knight of Navy. So we're gonna take our brother, get that nice and inked up, bring in our sentiment strips. Hopefully I'm not getting my head in there. We're just gonna stamp that. Don't rock it, just nice even pressure. And that came out perfect. So we're gonna punch that out. We're going to use a couple glue dots here. So we can put that on our card base. Let's go ahead and get the release paper off of there. That one doesn't want to come off. There we go. We got it off. And we'll just put that right here. Brother, you're in a league of your own. Perfect. And then we need to add our embellishments. We've got our red and our yellow embellishments. We've got a yellow. Let's put the yellow down here. And a red one. Get that up in there. And it looks like we've got two more on there up at the top. Another yellow. And a red. And we need to add a bow. So let's get out our twine here. They kind of did it off to the side. I think I'm gonna put mine on the little swish where it says you're in a league of your own. So let's just make a quick little bow here. I just kind of take my rabbit ears, pull it through, and we can make it as large or as small as we want. That's perfect. And we're just gonna go ahead and trim that off. And then we will add that into our, onto our card right there. Let's take a little glue dot. We're gonna put that right there. Get our release paper off. Stick that on. Trim our ends. And we've got one card done. Perfect. Brother, you're in a league of your own. I like that. Baseball themed. That's cute. Okay, so let's move on and do our, let's do our wood grain card. Same thing. We're going to take our card base. We're going to fold it in half. Get that ink out of the way. Give it a nice crease with our bone folder. And we need our red and yellow striped piece here. You know, I got a little ink on my finger. Let me wipe that off. Okay, so we've got our base here. We've got our layering piece and we're going to use the home plate. So let's get this on there first. I think we're just gonna use a little glue. We're gonna glue that on there. Put that right in the middle. Just kind of center that. I'm a little off there. There, that looks good. Perfect. Get that down there, and, there. and we're going to use our Stamparatus because You're the Best is a little bit larger stamp than just a regular sentiment. I want to make sure that I get good coverage. So I've already got it all lined up. I'm going to place my home plate up in the corner. We're gonna bring back in our Knight of Navy ink, and we're just gonna stamp that. Get that nice and inked up. 
I think that's probably pretty good. We can press that down, see what kind of coverage we got. Pull it off. You know what? And I think I want to stamp it again. I don't like the way that it uh, didn't get good coverage there. So we're going to ink it up. Turn our pad a little bit just to make sure we get good ink on there. Move that off to the side and stamp again. And because we used the Stamparatus, it's going to stamp right in the same exact spot. Oh, that's a lot better. That looks good. We got good coverage on there. We can put that aside, bring our card back in, and we're gonna place this base, home base, right in there. Okay, let's put some uh, dimensionals behind that so we have a little bit of dimension on our card. And I'm gonna use six, that way the middle has one there. I like that, that looks cute. So we'll take off our release paper. We're going to put that, and I can kind of center it underneath the line there. Let's go above the line, I like that. That's perfect, perfect. And it looks like they also have the twine underneath, but I'm gonna do, I wanna do a bow on top. I like the little bow on the swish right there. So let's form another bow, which is rabbit ears. Oh, that was a little too small. We're just gonna do some rabbit ears, tie our bow. Pretty simple. We can make it as big or small as we want. I like that size, I think that's perfect. We're gonna cut it off of our roll and bring in a glue dot. Put our glue dot right there on the swish. Get that release paper off. You know what, we got the whole thing off. Let's get a new one. Get our release, you know what, the ink is still just a little too wet, so we're gonna use a dot of glue. We're just gonna put a dot of glue right there. Not too much because we don't want it to uh, seep out from underneath the twine. We're just gonna put our bow right there. Let that set for a minute while we add our embellishments so it can dry. And we're going to add our red and yellow embellishments. We've got one over here. One over here. It looks like they've got five on this card. We've got a couple red ones up here in this left-hand corner. And one yellow one. Yeah, let's do that. I like that, super simple. Now we can trim our ends. And that's one more card done. So simple, I love Paper Pumpkin. They give you everything you need for this project. Okay, now we will move on to our all-star card. Next, oops, don't want that to go under there. We're gonna take our striped base, fold it in half, crease it, perfect. And now we need our baseball and our all-star and our bats. So, Let's just take a look. Okay, it looks like we need to put down our base strip first, so let's do that. We're just gonna take a little glue, put that on our base. That should be good. And we can center it by counting how many stripes we've got. I've got five over here and five over there, so it looks like we need to move it just a little bit. Perfect, and that'll make it nice and straight too. You can tell if you're getting it straight or crooked. And there we go, perfect. Now we'll take our all, or we know we need to do our ball first, our baseball first. We're gonna put that on there. 
and add our all star. And I think that'll go right there. We're gonna bring in our, let's do it just like it's on the sample. We're gonna add a sun on there. Ink up our stamp, which I already put on my block, just to make it a little easier. Perfect. We can add a couple dimensionals behind that. behind here we don't we want to kind of stick in the middle because we don't want it to hang off of the ball well we don't want the stickers the dimensionals to hang off kind of get that straight there we go perfect now because we haven't glued the baseball on yet we can still do our little bats here and it looks like they've got one kind of going straight and one at a little angle so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back of our baseball bat, a little dot there, and then a little dot on the bottom, and that should be good. Kind of straight. Perfect. Now we'll take our other baseball bat and we're going to angle this one after we put a little bit of glue on it. That's good. I like that. Now we can put some dimensionals on the back of our baseball. I think just three should be plenty. Take the release paper off of that. Place that down on there. And that's perfect. I like that. That's really cute. What we're going to do now is we're going to put our embellishments on. We're going to put our dots. We've got five. We've got three of the red. And you can really place these anywhere. I'm just trying to follow the directions a little just to show you how easy these kits are. And there we go. And that's card number three. So quick. I mean, we just made these three cards in no time at all. And everything you need to make these are in your kit. So now what did I wanna do is I wanna show you how I just stepped it up a little bit. I took all of the elements from this kit and all I did was add layers. I just cut, a, uh, I cut the, uh, the card base in half and I just trimmed it down and I added a layer of the Navy, uh, Night and Navy paper, and it just adds a little more pizzazz to it, just a little bit. On this one, this is our wood grain. All I did was add a white layering piece behind it, and then a white layering piece behind our card layer there. And I stamped that in the brown instead of the blue. It just it reminds me of a vintage Padre logo, kind of. And then here, we've got our all-star card and I just added a, a base layer of the red. Really simple. And it just adds a little bit more detail to your cards. They're all still great, but sometimes we just want it to be a little bit more, you know, not just so plain. And that's it. So this is our kit for May 2021. Paper Pumpkin is our once a month subscription. It's a surprise in a box. Every month it's something new. Everything you need to make the kit is included. You get your stamp set, you get your ink spot, you get embellishments, you get your glue dots, you get sentiment strips, everything you need. And again, it's $22 a month. If you'd like to subscribe, I will put a link below the video. And if you have any questions, you can email me. I'm always available. My email is also in the description below. Thank you, and until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.